Okay, hi YouTube. Uh, got a little video for you today. What I'm going to be looking at is this thing here. Uh, it's a Garmin Novicam. It's a GPS, all in one. Comes with the camera. Comes with the camera, and I'm just going to have a little talk about it. I bought this thing. I bought this about. I would like to say about six months ago, and I've been using it every single day uh, in my car. Uh, and I use it for the camera itself mainly but what I bought it for is because I wanted everything all in one unit so I wasn't having extra wires this is one cable powers a video camera uh, which is high def and also a GPS as well yeah, as well as traffic and things like that so it's not in the box I'll show you the, the the GPS shortly, but I'll have a little about the box. What did it say on here then? So it's a Novicam. One thing it's got is it's got three lifetime maps and also digital traffic. Now the three lifetime maps is brilliant because uh, every couple of weeks you actually get like a little email pop up. So you're driving along, you get a little email warning saying that there's new maps available. So when you get home, pop it into your computer, download the latest maps. I do that every couple of weeks. Uh, you also got the digital traffic. So what's the digital traffic then? Uh, okay. Well, the digital traffic is it just gets live information from your traffic cameras. Uh, the difference between this and the previous version, this one's HD traffic, uh, HD traffic, which gives you updates every. I think it's something like two to three minutes, rather than ten minutes or something. Or so it's really pretty much instant really so it's worth it for that as well yeah not that I bought it for that I bought it for a, for a camera and a GPS the GPS itself is fantastic it's the best GPS I've owned they're not cheap uh, I think I paid 250 or 230 pounds UK pounds bought from Halfords as you can get online but I couldn't wait I had to go down and buy it I just needed one and I, I needed it for work as well a driving stuck down, I use it from getting there to be finding people's houses, traffic, stuck in traffic jams, going going to different addresses. I need to I need a GPS which is going to be reliable. Uh, one thing it's got, it's got forward collision warning, which is a it's a bit of a gimmick but it actually works. So sometimes I leave it on while my trainee's driving and as they get it may, may, might be raining and you're on a carriageway or something like that and they're a little bit getting a bit closer to that four second gap it actually comes on and starts warning slightly weird it gives them a prompt uh, and you can see why is that warning come on oh, I've, I've closed that four seconds to three second gap in the drive should be two second gap we're leaving and it does come on and there's a little picture there and show you it actually beeps and a little red warning comes on uh, other thing it's got it's got lane departure warning so across the camera is monitoring and if your vehicle runs towards the center line or the white line on the left hand side it'll start to warn give you the warning uh, which is a, a beeping and it'll also come on the top as well so that's that's decent to have that and it, it does help if you go over the rumble strips or also if a vehicle comes from the right hand lane into your lane that'll come on because it's telling you too close so you should back off a little bit uh, it's got real vision. What the real vision is, you set a, G set a destination, you get close to the destination, so 20, 30 feet or 50 feet or whatever it is, it changes from this view into a view like that. I don't know if you can see that. Try to focus for you. don't think that's actually focusing but it goes to a, obviously looking through the real camera and it actually points to the house or destination you want which is a nice feature I like that so again it goes from this view as you get really close to the destination you can actually see the building that it points to uh, so that that's that other thing else on the front six inch six inches across which is a decent sized screen it's also got this four square which is a information based app works with your mobile phone uh, and it actually gets more di uh, up to date information for cafes restaurants things like that. yeah 
it's a uh, oh, hands free call on Bluetooth, fantastic. So you can do so. Certainly, we have I've, my Bluetooth set up in the car, I've took that out, don't need it. This is far better, it's clearer, it's, it's easier to see and work out with your phone. Yeah, uh, what does that say? DAB, that's DAB traffic information, uh, digital traffic. So, yeah, fantastic system. Uh, like I say, it does work with, you, with your phone, so you can do your hands free calling. Also, it's voice activated. So you pop it on, you're driving down the road, and you give it a command, uh, and it'll change the volume, you can change the brightness, you can do destinations, you can tell it to call home, call, uh, open phone book, go down the phone book, dial, it's usually numbers, one, two, three, four, five, dial number seven, and then you, you, you're working straight away. So it's, it's ideal for that. Uh, you can see it says Bluetooth on there, a few different bits of information on the back. Uh, the maps I've got, sorry, actually cover all, all of Europe. So you've got everywhere, right away, all the way down to Turkey. That type of thing off the UK, where I'm from. Yeah, on the back, it's got some little pictures of the forward collision warning system. Uh, and also the lane departure. And also, yeah. What it doesn't show you, which I haven't got, it's actually on the car, which I'll do another video and I'll link all these three videos together. So there'll probably be three short videos, because it's raining at the moment, I don't want to go out and get the get the mount off the car, but I'll show you it all set up. Mine's hardwired in, uh, but it does come with, I'll show you, there's, I'll just show you the mount first, which is actually one of the best parts of the system, the way you can see that. It's just suction cup, goes out of the window, and it's magnetic. It's got two little indents. And it, all you do is just offer up close and it just sits there perfect. And it's just so so easy. I mean, some of the GPS I've had, I've wanted to smash them up just because they're so awkward to get on the on the screen. And my windscreen is quite far away. There's a, there's a good gap between it. So you've got to lean right across and fiddle on with little clips. Where this one, you just all it needed, it just automatically pulls it on onto the mount. Brilliant, fantastic. So yeah, really like that. I'll show you that later on. What comes with in the box? Comes with your lead, your power lead. This one is just a normal 12 volt. The light on that. It's quite thick cable because it's got your your power and it's also got your data, your digital data in. There's a little hole on the side. That plugs into the camera and the mount. And you've got this lead, which plugs into it, which is the aerial. Suction cups go out the window. I've just took mine down the, down the front of the windscreen and the dashboard, and you can't see it. But yeah, it works fine. Comes with some little Allen keys, some screws. Information in the box, you've got your Bluetooth settings, app you download. I use it with my mobile phone, so instead of leaning across to the GPS and touching it, I just go onto my phone and pick destinations from the phone, yeah, which is a uh, really handy. What else does it come with? There's not much information. Not much information it comes with. A little guide showing how to connect it, and I'll, I'll show you the GPS in a moment. Do's and don'ts, how to set that up. Pretty straightforward. And also, you go to the this site to download the player, camp player. Also, download the manuals from. A website. That's how you set the, the screen up for your digital traffic and your power lead. I've just got mine along the bottom and it works fine. So instructions. I'm just going to get the, the GPS now. Okay. okay guys, that's the GPS. Uh, it's quite big. <laughs> But some people say that's a negative, but I like it. Looks like you've got a microphone here. There's a little green light when you turn it on. It says Garmin, it's got uh, Gorilla, I think it's Gorilla, Gorilla Glass. Seems quite tough. And on the back, we've got the camera, which is, you can move the camera left or right. I just leave it centered. Uh, speaker, and that's where the mount fits. So it's magnetic, it just, as soon as you hold it near, it just pops on. Really strong, uh, 
And you've got your on and off button on the bottom. You've got a red card which is for your record. Red matches with that, so that's telling you that card's for your recording of your your footage. And then you've got mini USB for charging and also going for your PC. And you've got another uh, micro USB one, which uh, is is for your normal photographs or you want to uh, record. Sorry, if you want to uh, save any, any other footage. So really I've got two 32 gig mini SD cards in there. Uh, nothing on the side, nothing on this side. There's a button on the top. What that button's for, you're driving along, you have an incident or you want to save that footage to, a, to the other card, just tap it on the top and it'll record that footage rather than looping it round in a circle. Uh, 32 gigs you're going to save. I can record like two weeks of footage that can go back two weeks just off that card which is pretty good so as I'm a driving instructor uh, I can look back at my lessons if there's anything goes wrong I can show the pupil uh, this what we've just gone back to that roundabout and you can see where they've gone wrong and they can actually look what they've done because sometimes they miss it while they actually concentrate while they're driving uh, so that's that's a nice feature uh, just turn it on button at the top Hold it down. The only bad thing about it is you've got to hold it down for quite a while to turn it on. Uh, and sometimes it comes, there you are. Uh, when you put it in the car, if you leave it in standby mode, you just pop it under the mount, it instantly comes on. So when I turn the ignition on, it comes on. When I turn the ignition off, it goes off. I like that feature. Uh, and it retains the information as well. So it's just starting up now because I've powered it all the way down. Let's have a quick look around this uh, and that'll end this video. So, a bit of information there, I agree. Got a bit closer for you. You've got where do you want to go to, hit that button. You've got all your information you need. Go home, go to, I'm not going to go to addresses. Let's go back again. So, you've got go home, addresses. Again, you've got postcode, spell town, and so on. You've got restaurants by different types of uh, deli, fast food, all that type of stuff. Then you've got petrol stations, Foursquare, which would be, it needs a GPS signal, uh, type of thing. Towns and so on. You've got your favourites, not going to go into, and uh, so on. Your, your signal, which is a signal for your GPS. You've got your Bluetooth. You've got your, more, you've got your uh, hand free calling, camera, battery power. So if I put the camera on, which it automatically starts recording, you'll see it's just my hand in the road of the. There you go. Yeah, it's really good quality, it's HD. You can see. If you want to stop recording, hit that. If you want to record again, just hit the record button. It automatically records anyway. Uh, you can go back into footage as well, so I'll show you that in a minute. You've also got view map. What I like about it is it's pretty quick as well, so when you're zooming around, it's pinch control, it's just a touch screen. You can look in the aerial view, so you can look around. Zoom all the way out. It's pretty quick. Yeah. And zooming in. It's not as it's not as good as Google Maps, not as quick, but it's pretty close. Probably the best one I've had for for uh, usability. You wanna go to somewhere, you just touch the screen and it'll tell you where you just click go, oh, that's it, done. Ask it'll give you options. Quickest route, that lot. Usual things that GPS has. Go back to the main screen again. Apps, you've got dash cam set up, gallery set up. Uh, so I can go to unseen footage. There's all the footage. Like today, it's the 1st of June. And then 31st, 27th, 26th, 24th. So there's, it records quite a bit. All the way back down to there. So if I go to uh, something, 
like this. It'll start playing. You've also got the GPS, and you've also got, if you hit on this wheel, it downloads it off the card. There you go, main screen. This is actually a, a lesson I've just picked someone up. You can have voice, I've turned the voice off because you don't hear me rattling on about lessons. You've got time information at the bottom, your coordinates, things like that. Uh, you can speed it up a little bit if you want it to. Sometimes you have to stop it and click play again. You can see the quality of the footage, it's pretty good. This was a guy who was doing his first lesson, he was just getting used to pulling forward and stopping, or moving st forward and stopping uh, in first gear. Okay, so that's that, we'll go back. You've also got the GPS location as well, recorded. It's got a G sensor on it. Uh, so gallery help, weather. You need to be plugged into your, uh, your HD to get the weather. And also you need your phone connector as well. You've also got live photo, uh, smart link, links to your phone, backup camera, again, your backup <coughs> camera is going to be this thing here. I'm going to do another video and I'll link this one to this one so you can see all of it. Uh, this one's in my car now, uh, it's reversing cam. I think you can add up to five cameras. You've got, you can even have baby cameras, so if you take this at home, you could buy a baby camera and it serves multiple purposes. A voice command, loud traffic, there you go, view map, and so on. Okay, go Arriving at home on the left. Just cancel that and go back. So yeah, voice command's pretty good. You've got your volume, you can change that, turn it down. Your settings goes to all your usual settings. I'm not going to go into one of the same as all GPS's, but the main difference is the apps you're going to get. You've got eco driving, so which is you can put in the price of everything and it works it out, tells you exactly how much you're going to use, mileage reports, and so on. And so on. Last spot. So, yeah, as a GPS, would I recommend it? Definitely. It's expensive, but it's definitely worth it. About a six month. If it if it doesn't break, I'll be really happy with it. Uh, and the quality of the camera. It just, say, it just means that on my dashboard, there's not clutter. There's not like four devices. It's just one device. Okay, guys. Uh, check back later. And I'll have videos of the wireless cam. And I also might have some footage of actually driving and setting it up in, in the in the car hope you enjoyed this leave any comments at the bottom uh, like or subscribe thanks for watching guys